Hi everybody, today we are going to be reviewing uh, blended rum from Barbados and this one has been recommended by Dwayne. I am curious to try this product out. I have not tried it. I've done some research on it. Now this product here he's asked me to try out is the Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum from Barbados. Now this bottle is 43% alcohol. Um, the interesting thing about Mount Gay, they claim to be the oldest rum distillery in the whole Caribbean. Uh, may or may not be true. That's their claim to fame. They started apparently out commercially distilling in 1703. It's quite a while back. Now this product has been launched, uh, I think it's about 12 years ago, the Mount Gay Black Barrel. But they've apparently retweaked it recently. So it has changed in flavor quite a bit. Now, this bottle here is, like I said, the Black Barrel. They also do make a, a Eclipse, which is aged in oak uh, casts from used whiskey barrels in the United States. They also, this one here is double cast. So this one here is first aged in a whiskey barrel, U.S. whiskey barrel, and then it is aged in a heavily charred uh, bourbon barrel. They do make an XO. The XO is aged in first the whiskey barrel from the United States, then it's aged in the bourbon barrel, then it's aged in a cognac barrel. This one, they're all blends. So they're a blended rum, and this blended rum is made from a pot still and a column still. Now, what they do is they put them in the oak barrels, then they age them, then they get this one, once they get to the perfect one, when the whiskey barrels they find are perfect, they quickly throw them in these used bourbon barrels that are heavily charred. They leave them there for about six months, apparently. Then they pull them off, bottle them, and then you've got your product. So the actual aging time of these rums is not written on the bottle because the master distiller decides exactly when that perfect magic point is. So uh, don't forget, stay to the end of the video. I'll tell you a fun fact about rum and maybe some words of wisdom from me, like I like to say. But... Let's try this out. Hopefully, I don't know if Dwayne's tried this bottle yet or not, or if he just wants me to pay the dollar and see if it's any good. Because it wasn't super inexpensive. It was uh, a decent dollar. It wasn't unbearable, but definitely you, you, you feel it. So it hopefully holds up to it. I have been disappointed by a lot of blended rums because a lot of them are a little too sweet for my palate. This one claims they do not add any sugar or any dye to it, which I think is very important for a rum. Because uh, a lot of rums don't have to say if they've added sugar. And rum can have tons of sugar added to it. So let's crack this barrel. Oh, okay. So by the cork, you definitely have the, the hints of vanilla you get with a lot of rum. Um, you smell the, the, the oak barrel in there for sure. Let's get a little bit on the nose in the glass here. And uh, like I said, this is from Barbados, and I'm in Australia in the summertime, so I'm pretty sure the heat is fairly similar. And these rums are designed to be drank in a high humidity heat like Barbados or Australia, places like this. So room temperature, this is the best way to really taste this the product. So on the nose... You got, you got, definitely got the vanilla. You smell the, the definitely the oak barrels in there, pretty strong. It's got a barrely smell to it. You've got a bit of a um, bit of orange, orange, um, bit of a caramely smell to it. it. Smells nice. Okay, let's give it a shot and see what we think. Um, kind of got a bit of a, a caramely, definitely vanilla. Wow, it's um, you definitely have like an orange peel in there. It's got a a nice a nice finish, a really nice finish to it. Uh, 
it doesn't just end suddenly, but it keeps on going, but it goes in a good way. It's not in a bad way. It's, um, it, it definitely has the, the sugar of the oak in there. It has the sweetness of some, definitely some nuts and fruits in there and tropical notes. You, could, you, you got the hint of banana in there. I don't think it's overpowering a banana. Some rums have a lot more banana, but definitely got a bit of banana in there. Yeah, not offensive to the palate in any way. It's um, quite a nice rum, I think. I think if you were going to sip it, I would... Uh, a lot of people might want to put this in a cocktail. I think it's... it's uh, Its price point is fairly high. It's not an inexpensive bottle in Australia. I don't know about the rest of the world. It is uh, a bit pricey. I would prefer to have this neat like this. Maybe, if, maybe a bit of ice in it, but I prefer most of my booze neat. Um, so I think it's... Let me have one more. Hey, we might as well, huh? It's almost got a nice creamy flavor to it that coats your palate and explodes with some some kind of florally notes, but florally notes of maybe like a subtropical fruits like the orange and uh, maybe a guava or mango or something like that. It's it's got a florally taste and a bit of a florally smell. With the vanilla, banana, caramel, molasses. But the strange thing is, it has that... I don't taste the whiskey as much as the bourbon. I taste that bourbon flavor in the background. I really taste a lot of... You know, if you were a bourbon drinker, I don't think necessarily if you're so much of a whiskey drinker, but if you're big into bourbon, I think this is a great one to, to get into if you want to get into rums, if you really like bourbon. So... Um, yeah, those are my kind of point of views on it. I think it's a good bottle. Like I said, I think it's a, I would like to try the other two bottles, um, to see what they taste like compared to this one. So I'll probably do some reviews down the road of them. So quickly, let me get into some words of wisdom for me. My words of wisdom today are really simple. Um, Albert Einstein once said, uh, everybody in the world is a genius, but if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, and judge him on that, that fish is probably going to think he's stupid and incapable for the rest of his life. And the moral of the story is, don't dwell on your weak points. Focus on your strong points. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't spend some serious time working on your, 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 your weaknesses, but really focus on your strong points, because that's what's going to really make you succeed in life, because you have strong points. Everybody does. Sometimes you'll need to find them first, but once you find those strong points, embrace them. Really focus on them. Get to be the best of them, because when you have that on your side, other people will have other strong points. Help them. Let them work for you, or let them you coach them to help your team move forward with their strong points, but focus on your strong points first, because those are what's really going to make you succeed in life. So those are my words of wisdom today. Go out, find your strong points if you don't know them already. And if you do know them, really hammer them. And now we're going to get into a simple fun fact about rum in general. Now, all the rum from the Barbados and all the places that were big for the rum running, especially Barbados... When the ships were picking up the rum during the rum running trade, when they were trading rum for everything... What they were doing is they were picking up a clear alcohol that was distilled. And the, I imagine the stills back in those days were fairly primitive. And they were barrel, picking them up, putting them into oak barrels, and transporting them to wherever they had to go. And by the time they went, they were buying a ship and pretty slow. By the time they got there, they found out, hey, wait a second. This rum actually tastes better, has more characteristics, it's smoothened out, sitting in these oak barrels. And so that's where they started aging rum in oak so that's a fun fact about rum in general now don't forget everybody if you did like this video please give me the thumbs up if you don't like it give me the thumbs down and subscribe to my channel ring the bell for notifications and give me comments please if you want to see something you need a review like this one Dwayne gave me and also share it with your friends we need to have subscribers to keep the show going so thanks everybody Keep your stick on the ice. Cheers, everybody.